Now then, you may have seen the Poplar Hawk Moth video that I did a couple of weeks ago. Here's one to very much match that. This is an hired hawk moth. This is a male and it's just emerged a few hours ago. Its wings are now dry and it's fully armed and ready to fly this evening. I found this last year as a larva on a small sallow bush on some open ground just outside Edwinstow, not far from Rufford Abbey. Ever since the 1980s when I first bred hawk moths and butterflies, I've still always had a penchant for collecting large caterpillars that I find and rearing them. This is the result you, you can get if you do the said rearing of caterpillars. This is a moth that I really find more often as a larva. And it's more common as a larva, in my experience, than the commoner moth, poplar hawk moth. At light, these will be attracted to light, but you never get many of these. I certainly never have. I have had them here in the garden. But I've probably only taken this moth at light three or four times in 20 odd years. Poplar hawk moths considerably more, but they are more common but it is just an absolute stunning moth the markings on these things are just stunning they're very much like the poplar hawk moth in fact the wing shape and the pos position that the wings are held in are very similar to poplar hawk moth the four wings are narrow broadening towards the wing tip here and they cover virtually all of the hind wings just a part of the hind wing is protruding from underneath the narrow forewing. That hind wing hides the moth's defence mechanism, which is a large eye spot. An eye spot made of pinks and blues and a black central spot. They're absolutely beautiful moths. Of course, being a hawk moth, as you can see, the thorax is large and powerful. These are very much built for powerful flying. But it's the markings on these things that are just absolutely stunning. I mean, I know it's more than nature, but who would have thought to put a large dark chocolate brown blotch almost as if Mother Nature was using up the last bit of colour for no other reason oh, I'll just stick a bit of brown on top but it's a beautiful thing isn't it you'll get these in your garden if you run them off trap in the garden I'm saying not very frequently They're just gorgeous.